Osmin. Hi, teacher. How are you? I, I very good. Nice. How was your day? Now. It's... How what? was your day? Ah, okay. Uh, uh, in my home. Uh, good. Rest. Resting. Resting. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. So your wife is in your house right now? No, no, is in the church. Oh, the church. okay. Yeah. Uh, Elim Church. Uh, no, it is the uh, Asambleas. Oh, Asambleas de Dios. Sí, correcto, por estar más cerca, more Good. near. Yeah. It's near. Okay, good. Yeah. I I met Jesus in uh, Asambleas de Dios. Yes. Yo ahí conocí a Jesús. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Glory to God. Excuse me. Eh, ahí in Asambleas de Dios also. In year ago, twenty five years. Twenty five years ago. Twenty five years ago. Okay. Do you know Liceo Cristiano? Uh, no, John. Bueno. Okay. Do you know Liceo Cristiano? No, 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 no. Ah, ya oído del Liceo Cristiano. Uh, I'm talking about Liceo Cristiano Central in San Salvador, Colonia La Rabida. Ah, okay. Ese, no, ese no lo no. Okay. So yeah. I study there. I used to study there. Ahí solía estudiar yo. Oh, wow. Oh, excellent. Yeah. 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 I was in fourth grade. Estaba en cuarto grado cuando eh, estábamos en un servicio y, y estaban predicando y de repente ya estaba yo al frente. Eh, ahí al, al respondiendo al llamado. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory. yeah, so that's, that is a little bit of my life. Yes, yes. Jesus is only solution for the man. Exactly. It's the only solution for man. Yeah. Exactly. How frequent do you go to church? But not a whole week and uh, on Sunday. Sunday, once a week. Uh, yeah. yeah. Once a week. Okay, once a week. Okay, good, good. And what time is the service? Uh, I uh, service in Sunday. Yeah, but what time? It's, uh, nine uh, a.m. Nine a.m. Nine a.m. I, I have my service for God. Uh -huh. Because I, because I are I are pastor in Comasagua. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Sí. Okay, Comasagua. Okay. Comasagua. There I, there are my church. Oh, there is your church. Yes, it's it's como como filial, but no sé. Como sí, sí, sí. Yeah, yeah, like a branch. Okay. okay. The church central are here in Lourdes. Uh, and what's the name of the church? Uh, uh, no. No. What is the name of the church? Okay. Uh, the name of the church uh, is Elim. 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 Elim, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Yes. I went to a Lim. Do you know Valle Nuevo, Matasano? Yes, this is the it central. Right, right. So yes. I visited that church long time ago, like 20 years ago, maybe. 20 years. Yeah, 20 years ago. Hace como 20 años visité esa iglesia una vez. Okay. When are the pastor Sergio? I don't remember the name of the pastor, but it was a nice message. Ah, okay. It, it, it is made the church. Yeah, it's a big church. Big church. Yeah, it's a big church, right? Yeah, yeah. so yo, yo me. La veces que he ido a la iglesia ha sido Assemblies of God. Assemblies of God, it's very yeah. good. Yeah, I like the, the structure and the message they deliver. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. The maestros, huh? maestro, uh, you service in assembly of God? No. No, never, never. Uh, yeah. Only member. Yeah, mm -hmm. only a member. Only okay. part of the congregation. Okay, very good also. Good, yeah. Ricardo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Good. Do you go to church, Ricardo? Not really, teacher. I was in the job today, teacher. <laughs> okay. But do you go to church? Uh, hardly ever. <laughs> okay. All right. What Good. about you, teacher? Mm, hardly ever, too. <laughs> Okay. Hardly ever. In the past, I used to congregate with um, with the assemblies of God. Oh, where yeah. is the this church teacher? Um, the original one is near uh, Colonia La Rabida. Do you know where Liceo Cristiano is? Uh, near the Universidad de Salvador, teacher. It's not near? exactly, but it's near Inframen. Ah, Inframen. Oh, yeah. I, I know the word is that. Near La Cascada. Yes, it's right now. Okay, so that was my first church that I visited, you know, when I it, was... It's a, it's a big church, teacher. Not exactly. Not exactly. But I was there when I was in, in fourth grade. Oh, long time ago, teacher. <laughs> long time ago. I was 10 years old. I yeah. was 10 years old. In this moment, teacher. Yeah, when, when I was in fourth grade. So I'm talking about 39, 39 years ago. Wow. <laughs> long time. Yes, teacher. <laughs> long time. But here we are. I'm thankful yes. with God. <laughs> so that's part of my story. Okay, teacher. Louis. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. And you? I'm doing okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. So let's begin. What time is it? 8.09. 809. What is another form to say 809? Night past eight. Say it, yeah. Very good. Nine past eight. All right. What time is your life skill training? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Excellent. Can you give me examples, other examples of life skill? Uh, about the class teacher? No, uh, other examples of life skills, skills that you need to survive. Swim? Swim, yes, swim is a life skill. What else? Maybe cook. <laughs> yeah, cook. Cook is a life skill. Because even if you have money, you said, oh, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. But what happens when you don't have money? You need to survive. Yes. Okay. Anyways, Janet, how are you? 
Good evening, I found in you. Good, thank you. How was your day? Hard. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> they turn off the lights by accident. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's begin. Do you remember yesterday's topics? Yes, teacher. What were the topics? Uh, we studied about uh, how to use there is and there are. Uh huh. What is the function of there is and there are? Um, when we talk about uh, something uh, exists. Excellent. Something like that, Excellent. Yes. We use there is and there are to talk about the existence of things. That is correct. Uh, uh, what is the negative of there is? There isn't. There isn't. What is the negative of there are? There aren't. There aren't. Yes. How do you make singular questions with there is? There is. Huh? There is. There is questions. or is there? Is there. Ah, questions. Yeah, is there. Is yeah, there. is there. Now, how do you make plural questions with there are? Are there. Are there. Very good. Nice. Any questions or comments? No. Pregúnteme cuántos huesos hay en el cuerpo humano. Imagine that this is a science class. How many bones are there in the human body? Excellent. How many bones are there in the human body? Good. I don't, don't remember. Ah. Yeah, nice. The, your question is, is excellent. What is the answer? I don't Could remember. 200, sorry, two teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, los que saben de rutas de buses, ¿cuál es el bus que va para Sonsonate? Um, de San Salvador a Sonsonate. 205. exactly. Ah, okay. Entonces, uh, la 205, entonces solo le agrega 1 y la respuesta es 206. So, going back to Louis' question, the answer should be, there are... 206 bones in the human body. Got it? Okay, teacher. All right, so let me show you this document. Where is it? All right, this one here. Now, when you say esperándote, barriendo, ahorrando, cuando el verbo va en gerundio, ¿en qué forma termina en inglés? We use ing, teacher. Excellent. Ing. Can you see my document? Not really, teacher. No? No. Okay. No. Just a dark screen. All right. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. So these sentences, some are positive, some are negatives, some are questions, some are singular questions, some are plural questions. How do you know? If it's a question. Uh, because we see the question mark at the end of the sentence. Teacher. Excellent. Because you see the question mark at the end of the sentence. How do you say signo de admiración? Admiración. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. 
So this is what I want you to do. This is going to be your first exercise. Uh, you need to translate these sentences to English. All the sentences or the questions they need, there is, there isn't, or is there. There are, there aren't, or are there. So positives, negatives, questions, plural, singular. So you decide. How much time do you need for these 10 sentences, exercises? Maybe five Half an minutes. Hour. <laughs> After hour. <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'll give you five minutes so you can complete this. Go ahead. Teacher, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Rick. It's okay if I say it, uh, there are three persons waiting for you, for the number one. Yeah, uh, remember, you could say persons in certain places, not everywhere. Uh, the plural of person officially is people. En algunos países, en algunas ciudades, le pueden aceptar persons pero en otras no. En todas le aceptan people. So, entonces es de quedarnos en el, en el lugar seguro y siempre decir people. So there are three people waiting for you. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. Go ahead. Hey, teacher, how do you say ascensos? Promotions. Ah, promotions. Okay. Yes.
Good evening, teacher. Sorry for being late. Don't worry, Rose. Better late than never. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're translating the 10 exercises in the document. Oh, translating. My yeah, God. translating. So okay. you have like two minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I do it. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you're finished. Okay, what's the answer for number one? There are three people waiting for you. There are three people waiting for you. Very good. What about number two? Uh, I have a question. Can you, yes. can, you, can you just say there are three people waiting? Uh, yeah, there are three people waiting. But if you say there are three people waiting, hay tres personas esperando. Ah. It wouldn't involve the, the, the other person. But yes, you can say it. Okay, what about number two? Uh, there are no questions. There are no questions or there aren't any questions. Good. What about number three? Uh, there are 262 counties in El Salvador. Good. Osman, do you have number four? Okay, uh, there are three buses on the second floor. Excellent. There are three buses on the second floor. Very good. Number five, Rick. Is there a question? Okay, I is it singular or plural? Uh, singular teacher. I'm sorry, uh, plural. 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 Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> are there a so question? One more time. Yes. Are there a question? <laughs> are there 
questions. Questions, okay. So yeah, there are okay. questions. Uh, teacher, can you say, are there any questions? Yes, you can also say, are there any questions? Now, le let me make a, a parenthesis. Okay, you see the chat? Yes, teacher. Okay, what am I asking? Questions. Are there any questions? Okay, but, but, but what, what did I write? Questions. 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 Now, questions. how do you know I'm making a question? Questions? A question mark. But, but no. if I say it, questions? The way you say it. Is, is, is it the question mark or the intonation? The intonation. The intonation. Yeah. Intonation. So, because when I say, is it questions? No, you don't see the question mark, but you know it's a question because of the intonation that I'm using, right? Questions? So, all right. Uh, what about number six? Janet, do you have number six? Yes. Is there life in another planet? Excellent. Is there life in another planet? Can you say, is there any life? Sure. Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. What about number seven, Ricardo? Let me see, teacher. Um, are there promotions every month? Are there promotions every month every or month. all the months? Yes, very good. Number eight, Rose? There, there aren't dogs in my house. Good. What is number nine, Luis? Uh, number nine, there is a cat making noises. There is a cat making noise. Oh, noise. Noise, yes. And the last one, Osmin, do you have number 10? Uh, no bus after 8 p.m. Okay, there are no buses. Okay. There are no buses after of uh, the 8 p.m. Okay, there aren't any buses after 8 p.m. Or you can also say in a more simple form, there, are, there aren't any buses after 8 p.m. Okay. okay. Or what you is, can say, so there are no buses at 8, 8 p.m. After 8 p.m. Yeah, after 8 p.m. You, you cannot say there are no buses at 8 p.m. Um, it depends. Imagine that, um, how do you say punto de buses? Mm. Bus station. Yeah. A bus station. So you go to a bus station and the last bus leaves at eight. That's the last trip. So uh, yeah, our, uh, yeah. at 8 p.m. there is a bus. After eight, there is nothing. So you could say it, but you would have to explain the time exactly. So you can say it. Any other questions? Teacher. Yes, sir. When we can use any teacher in the sentences. Okay. Uh, if the sentence is negative, you can say, any. Are there any questions? No, Francisco, there aren't any questions. So the word any is optional. However, many people use it to make sure that the message is understood. So it's negative, so I want to say any. Okay. If it's positive, people usually say, what is the opposite of any? Some. None. Some, exactly. So you open the fridge and you said, huh, there isn't any milk. There isn't any milk. Now imagine that it's positive. You open the fridge and say, oh, I'm lucky. There is some milk. So if you want to verify, if you want to confirm that the information is negative, you should say any. If you want to emphasize that the information is positive, then you should say some. Thank you, teacher. Yes. 
Any other questions or comments, people? Uh, say, uh, entonces, uh, where? Yeah, no. Excuse me? Uh, for say, entonces. So. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, so, the, the number 10 uh, is, uh, there are no buses after p.m. Okay, uh, there aren't any buses after right. 8 p.m. Uh, because it's plural. Because it's plural, exactly. There aren't. There are. It's plural. Yes, there, there aren't. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, people? No? Okay, so let's continue. Okay, share screen. Okay, do you remember our last activity that we had yesterday? What was the last activity? The activity yesterday? Mm. Yes. Do you, can you see my book right now? Yes. Okay, what is that exercise about? What are they doing in that exercise? The description of my job. Exactly, a description of your job place. Yes, mm -hmm. you can, when you say there is, there are, you are making a description of, um, of physical things, but also, how do you say ambiente in English? Environment. environment, yes, environment. So you can make a description about physical things, or you can also make a description of the environment. You know, the relationships with your, how do you say compañeros de trabajo? Co-workers. Co-workers, with your supervisors, with your boss, with the manager. Um, how do you say, no hay tensión? There is no tension. No tension. <laughs> there, isn't tension there isn't tension or there is no, there is tension. no tension. Right. Okay. How do you say hay un ambiente amigable? There is a friendly environment. Good. There is a friendly environment. So as you can see, you use there is, there are to... Um, to describe physical things or to describe the environment. So let, let me see this here. Chat, I will say, there are 10 rooms in Inglés Corporativo. There are 10 rooms in Inglés corporativo. There is AC in every classroom. Or I can say there is a friendly environment. There are classes on weekends and so on. So I'm describing physical aspects and also things related with the environment. Any questions or comments? So similar to this, I want you to describe your workplace in the chat, because that was the last exercise we had yesterday. So write it in the chat, give me a second, I'll be right back. Meanwhile, meanwhile write the sentences.
Okay. Okay, Luis, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, when you say two, is that plural or singular? Plural. So is it there is uh, or there are? Are. So there are two axes, one for employees and the other one for the customers. There is a sales store with two salespeople. There are five meeting rooms to make presentations to potential customers. There is a warehouse on the second floor. Very good. Nice. So we have rows. There are five meeting rooms. There is a big warehouse. There is a big parking lot. There is a clean kitchen. Very good. Rick, Osmin, Janet. Okay. There are a lot of desks in my job. Good. There is a big Makiliswa tree in my workplace. Makiliswas are very nice. How do you say cuando está floreciendo? Um, grooming. Okay. When is grooming? Let, let me write it for you. Grooming. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a very nice tree when it's grooming. Yeah. Yeah, the colors. Yeah, they're very attractive, very nice yes. colors. Yes. There is a watchman on the door. Okay, good. There are a lot of plants. Good. Are there many plants in your houses, people? Plants. No. No. Yes. <laughs> Outside my house. Right. In my house, there is a very small place with plants outside. What kind of plant do you have, teacher? I have a, a papaya tree, Mirto. But they're, they're in the process of growing. I have a cactus. Small one or big one, teacher? Cactus. Uh, medium, medium, medium. Maybe like one meter. And uh, what else do I have outside? It's a... Savila? It, it's, no, I have a savila too. But there is one that um, it has... Um, it has spines, in it, but it, it has some beautiful flowers, so I forgot the name. So Osmin says, there is one door for going in. Going in, okay. Yeah, there's one door for going in. Okay, correct. Okay. Anybody else? Alguien más? There are 11 rooms. Very good. Someone else? Someone else? All right. So uh, are we okay with there is, there are, there is, and there aren't? Is there, are there? There's a small kitchen. Uh -huh. Okay. How do you say inquilino in English? You say yes. tenant, tenant. Um, there are two pets, okay. Okay, Janet. Tenants, and you have landlord. Okay, what is the meaning of tenant? Huesped? Uh, inquilino. Tenant. Tenant. Yeah, tenant. Do you see the chat? 
get it. Okay. What is the opposite of tenant? Landlord. Propietario. Exactly. The ah. landlord. Now, how do you say vacío? Empty. Empty. Now, imagine the following. Whether you live in a house or in an apartment, you know the place really well, don't you? Yes. Right? So imagine that your house is empty. Imagine that your apartment is empty and you want to rent it. So someone interested calls you, look, I need information about the house you're renting. I need information about the apartment you're renting. What information would you give? ¿Qué información daría? We, we can describe the, um, the size about the department or house teacher. Okay, the size. Okay, what else? Uh, direction where it's located. Okay, okay, the size, the address. What else? Number of rooms. Uh, serve, service. Excuse me? Janet? The service. Uh, okay, the, the uh, what's the name? Water and electricity? Oh, the basic services. Yes. Good, very good. What else? What aspects do you take into account before you rent? or before you buy a place? This is a dangerous teacher. <laughs> okay. The sun. The area. The area. Okay. What else? The what cost. Huh? The cost. Okay, the cost. What else? What happens if you don't have a car? If it has a garage, is, is there a public transportation? Okay, if there is public transportation, exactly. What else? The, the rules. rules. Okay, the rules. What else? Uh, the places that uh, are near the... the is some because a supermarket okay a hospital i don't know okay sure near places okay so i'm giving you this information the size the address the number of rooms basic services the area the cost is there public transportation are there any special rules any near places um how do you say aparte de Besides of? Besides. Okay, besides the rent or the money that you will pay, pay for the place, do you of have to of? pay something extra? Uh, Osmin? Yes, uh, it's called apart from. Excuse me? Apart from? Apart de? No. Uh, apart from, yes, you can say it. You can say okay. it. But people... Yeah say besides uh, the, it, it's more common. No. So, okay, uh, imagine that I'm telling you this. A two-story house, what does that mean? A two-story house. Historia de dos casas. <laughs> <Story. laughs> Una casa de dos historias. What does that mean? Maybe it, was a rent a rent two times. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, story in this case makes reference to floors. A two-floor house. Buenas noches. 
And why story? Uh, that it's a it's a word that Americans use to describe how many floors the the, the apartment house or the house has. So, um, do you think the number of stories in a house is important? Yes, yeah. So some yeah. people like two-story houses. Um, so it might be a factor. Maybe, okay. maybe teacher, if we had a big family, right? It's exactly. Important. Yeah. Or maybe you want to have a business on the first floor and live on the second one. That's another possibility. Got it? Okay, so imagine that your house is empty. Imagine that your apartment is empty and you want to rent it. So write a description about the things uh, that are in your house. So for example, house for rent in Lourdes. There are two floors. There are four rooms. There is public transportation. Um, there are gates at the beginning of the, of the street. What's the meaning of gates? Puerta. Gates. Portón. 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 Yeah. There are two gates at the beginning of the, there is a supermarket, there is a bank, so blah, 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 blah. So you give your description. So I will give you five minutes for you to write a description of your house. You know your house very well. And uh, a simple, nice description about what there is, what there, uh, or the things that there aren't. Questions? Did you, we are going to choose there is and there are. Yeah, there is, there are, there is and there aren't. Okay. Yeah. So positives, negatives, singular, plurals, go ahead. Uh, teacher, how do you say metros cuadrados, square feet? Square meters. Square meters. Uh, disculpe, teacher. Te yes, me levanté, ask me. Sí, me levanté un rato por acá. No estoy atento y, y, y el, el ejercicio, el exercise. Eh, es, solo tiene que hacer de caso que su casa está vacía. Usted la quiere alquilar y tiene que dar una descripción using there is, there are. Ah, ok. Las cosas que hay y las cosas que no hay en su casa. Ok, thank you. Good.
Defense Take CA-1, Carretera Panamericana Este, Este, and CA-4, Carretera Trocal del Norte. Uh, teacher, we have to use their is and their are in each description. No. Uh, for example, you can say uh, there is a small garage, but there isn't a water tank. So you got to make a combination of there is, there are, there isn't, and there aren't. Singular, plural, positives, negatives. Okay. How do you say service electric, electrical services? Yeah, electrical services. Uh, teacher, how do you how do you say terraza? Terrace. How do you spell it? T E double R A C E. Terrace. How do you say independiente, teacher? Independent. Independent. Yes. Thank you. Sure.
let me know when you're ready. Okay, so when you're ready, please write your description in the chat so we can see it. Maybe we rent your house or your apartment. Okay, there are 154 square meters available. There is Rosa restaurant next to the building. There's only one apartment next to it. There's available hot water, electrical services, Wi-Fi and local TV cable. There is Hotel Sheraton two blocks down. There is a basic gym and a terrace available for events. Good, very good. Except the first sentence, uh, Luis, that there are 154 square meters. No, because it's plural, right? Yeah, it's plural. The oh, rest yeah. is good. The rest is good. Okay. Okay, there is one floor. Janet, there is one floor. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. floor
there are some shops like there is a super selectors nearby to my house and there is San Rafael pharmacy. Good. And the others, okay, inside my home, there is a big living room and there are three bedrooms. Also, there is a small dining room and there are two restrooms. Good, good. In my, there is no phone. Only have, there is a chair, a TV. There is a parking for a small car. There is a parking for a small car. So Osmin, you should say in my house to rent, there is no phone, there is a chair, there is a TV, there is a parking for a small car. Mm -hmm. Besides there, there is not a gate. There is not, there are not rules, Ricardo. There are not rules. And there are not two story house. And finally, there are no plants. Okay, good. Rows in a two story house. There are two bedrooms in the first floor. On the first floor, there is a bathroom in the second floor. There are other two rooms. In the main room, there is a bathroom. There is a big kitchen in the first floor. There is not room service, but there is a big backyard. There is no public transportation near. The address is 29 North Avenue between Main Street and 31st South Avenue. Okay. You say you live in La Gloria, Rose? Yes, I live in La Gloria, but I am, I invented. You made it up, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I, yes, I made it up. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Okay. Okay, Osmond says there is not very big, okay. It is not very big. It is not very big. Yeah, tough. it is not very big. Janet says there are three bedrooms. There is a near market. There aren't trees in the garden. There yeah. are basic yeah. services and internet. There are There is a kitchen and living room, an independent living room. There isn't a garage. There is a bus station, or oh, there is a near bus station, 79 line, and there are two bathrooms with letter S. Very good. All right, good. 
Any questions or comments, people? Teacher. Yes, sir. When we, when we refer a ruta, uh, we use line. I can I can exactly. you line. Yes. So you say line, like linear. Uh, okay. Thank um. you. Yeah, so when I use public transportation, I use the 79 line. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No? Okay, let me, how do you say pasar lista in English? Attendance. Attendance. Take attendance. Take attendance. That is correct. Take attendance. So. Roll car noise correct, teacher. Excuse me? Uh, roll car noise correct. Uh, take attendance. Pasar lista. Uh, take, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. In, in, in Spanish, well, in El Salvador, we say. Pasar lista. Maybe in other countries, maybe Cuba, Nicaragua, I don't know. Maybe they use uh, other terminology to make reference to the to what I just mentioned. But in English, you say take attendance. Pasar okay. asistencia. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let me see who's here. Janet Morales. Present. Okay, Vilma Sorto. Present. Good. Welcome back, Vilma. Oh, you were here yesterday, Vilma, I remember. Uh, Sandra Carolina, absent. Rosemary George, she's absent. Roselena Salgado. Present. Present. Rick Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay. Antonia is absent. Osmin? Present teacher, present. Very good. Marta Araceli? Absent. Marta Alicia Monge? Absent. And everybody's absent except for Luis Martinez? Present. Okay, everybody else is absent. Let me put an A here, right there. All right. So, put the tendons away. And here we go. Positive adjectives. What is an adjective? Adjective describe a noun, teacher. Exactly. Adjectives describe a noun. Uh, can you give me examples of adjectives? Pretty. Pretty. Small. Small. Nice. Big. Huge. Wonderful. Nice. Huge. Wonderful. Amazing. 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 Wonderful. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Spectacular. Good. Spectacular. Yes. You can say monumental. Yeah, monumental, yes. Teacher, we can say marvelous. Marvelous, yes. Yes, yes you can. Breathtaking. Yeah, breathtaking, sure. There are so many adjectives. Some of them are positive. Some of them are negative. So let's concentrate on the first list. Do you see my book, Positive Adjectives? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. So we have comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. Any questions there? How do you pronounce the first one? Uh, comfortable. 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 How many syllables do you hear in comfortable? Um, comfortable. Three. Three. 
comfortable. Yes, three is correct. What is the meaning of huge? Immenso. Immenso. Yeah, very big. Grande. Very Grande. big. And then we have nice, and then we have illuminated. Illuminated. Any questions with the positive adjectives? No? We go to the next group. It says negative adjectives. Narrow, small, disgusting, and smelly. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. And there is a smelly living room. What is the meaning of narrow? Angosto. Angosto. Right. What is the opposite of narrow? Wide. The wide. opposite of near wide, wide, spacious, mm -hmm. uh huh, um, small offices, disgusting. What is disgusting? Eh, asqueroso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disgusting is like, oh my god, you know, like you see or you smell things. Oh man, that smell was really disgusting. And then you have a smelly. Living room. What's the meaning of smelly? Oloroso. Yeah. Yeah, with a bad <laughs> smell. With a bad smell. <laughs> yeah. So imagine uh, you cook every day, but you never mm -hmm. wash dishes. Four or five days <laughs> later, your kitchen is going to be smelly. Right? Yes. Okay. And it will attract flies, mosquitoes, and, and things like that. All right. Any questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of adjectives? Teacher. Yes, sir. Always the adjective um, should be before the noun. Yes, the adjective is always before the noun. Beautiful house, a fast car, an expensive motorcycle, uh, understanding sister, uh, a helping father. So the adjective is before the noun, yes. Thank you, teacher. All right, any questions? Okay, so in part five, you're supposed to create those sentences according uh, to your opinion. You can make them positive, you can make them negatives. Uh, it's your decision. So I will give you three minutes for this exercise. Go ahead.
You ready? Not yet, teacher. Okay, go ahead. All right, uh, volunteer for number one. Anybody? There is a small gym. There is a small gym. Good. Number two. Uh, there are okay. new training rooms. There are new training rooms. Good. Number. It should be number three. Uh huh. Number three. Anybody? Okay. Number three. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, always the company keeps clean cafeterias. Uh, one more time, please. Always the company keeps clean cafeterias. Cafeterias. Okay, your cafeterias. sentence is good. Now, how can you say that using there are? There are. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, number four, somebody? Smart meeting room? There is a smart meeting room. There's a smart meeting room. What will be the characteristic of a smart meeting room, people? That it has automatic doors. Okay, automatic doors. What else? A, a, a intelligent a light system. Okay, a smart light system, right? What, what is something that every classroom should have? A smart board. Smart board, exactly, a smart board. Good. Okay, number five. 
There are unpleasant bathrooms. Okay, there are unpleasant bathrooms. Bathrooms. Uh -huh. And what is the last one? What is number six? There is a tiny cubicle. There is a tiny cubicle. Yes. All right. Do you guys work in cubicles or do, are you in open or are you in spacious places? Cubicles. Cubicles. Okay. Good. I think Roselene is in open space, right? Okay. Yes, because I am in, a, because in she's in the warehouse. Space. Okay. Yeah. Like in my case, during the day, I am in a desk, a normal desk. But sometimes I go outside too. Okay. Any questions or comments, people? No. How do you how do you traduce unpleasant? Excuse me, unpleasant? Unpleasant. Unpleasant, yeah. desagradable. Ah. Unpleasant. Desagradable. Mm. Yeah. Desagradable. So, agradable. You can, say, you, uh -huh. you, you can say you can say there are smelly. If if they smell funny, yes, you can say it. Or ah, you can okay. say, what's the reason you say that the bathrooms are unpleasant? Oh, because there is paper on the floor. It's smelly. Mm, okay. There is a broken sink. So, <laughs> unpleasant is very general. Okay. Right. Okay, thank you. Any other questions, people? No. All right. How do you pronounce cafeteria? Cafeteria. 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 Yes, cafeteria. Okay. Cafeteria. 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 Yes. Do you guys remember yes. the meaning of the word cognates? Do you remember cognates? How do you spell that? It's in the chat, cognates. C-O-G-N-A-T-E-S. Ah, okay, okay. No, I don't remember. Okay. So uh, I have told you this before. Imagine that um, you're showing the word cafeteria in oh, English. And you show it to a person that doesn't speak English. Do you think that he or she will recognize it? A Spanish speaker. Do you think they will yes. recognize it? Yeah. Because yes. we have the same word in Spanish. Like in Spanish. Right, uh -huh. right. So only a cognate, right, only the pronunciation is, is, is different. So a cognate, it's like a hotel. Excuse me? It's like a hotel. Yeah, like hotel, hotel. car. Mm -hmm. hospital, telephone, all those words that, you know, like one word that exists in two different languages. So that is a cognate. That's a cognate. Yep. All right. Any questions or comments? Let me see. Remember, we have a the one-on-one -on -one, um, lessons today. If you want to, if you have been scheduled and you want to participate, you are more than welcome. I'm going to be connected um, from 10 to 11. So let me see this document here. Okay. Can you see this exercise? Can you see the worksheet? Not teacher. Okay, give me a second. You see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay, so there is, there are, there is, there are. So um, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs break up rooms. OK. 
Okay, and here we go. I'm gonna take an image and I will send it to the WhatsApp chat. See, mm. there, there is a big supermarket near my house. Yeah. Yes. My room. I know there are. Porque está hablando de dos, del televisor y la computadora. Ah, no, tres. Televisor, computadora y mi cuarto. Dos, ajá, dos. De... Or maybe question, right? Ajá. Yeah. Okay. So the first one is there is a big kitchen in my flat. There is a big kitchen in my flat. What is the meaning of flat? I don't know. I don't remember. Flat. A uh, flat. A flat is 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 an apartment with no divisions, with no divisions. walls. Oh, I, I think that is uh, when something is a plano teacher. Or right, like this? right, okay. right. So in this case, when you are, uh, when you're talking about housing, a flat okay. is usually no walls with no walls. So oh. you you stand in one corner, you see your bedroom, you see the kitchen, you see the dining room, you see everything. You see, you see that a lot in New York, right? Right. Yeah, flats are very popular in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So it, it's good because <laughs> you arrange all your furniture your way, you know, <laughs> but it's bad because there is no privacy. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you. So, so it depends how you see it. Teacher, in the number four, uh, uh, the meaning of wardrobe, I don't know, is a uh, pronunciation real. Wardrobe. War yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's like a closet. Closet, ah. Yes. It's another, it's another way for to say closet, teacher. Exactly. Okay, wardrobe. Wardrobe, yes. Wardrobe, okay. But wardrobe is in. not a closet of, of only clothes. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's, it's a, a closet furniture for clothing. Uh-huh, only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and the bush good shelf and the Hi. number eight teacher good shelf bookshelf bookshelf yeah. what's a bookshelf Luis a libreria where you librera ah librera yeah uh -huh. ah. yeah where you put only books right so uh, when you use shelf you're talking about the repisa what you put there it's it's your decision okay teacher thank you all right good <coughs> There is, there are, and there, or is there. Okay. Uh, the procession in Spanish, every oration, what is? The first. Yeah, I feel, example, he feel. There is a big kitchen in my flat. Mm, yeah, okay. What is the meaning of flat? I, I don't know. Okay, flat is like an apartment with no divisions. It's one space, no walls. Punto compañero, algo así. Huh? ¿Cómo sería entonces? Okay, a flat is like an apartment with no divisions. Okay. So, like, imagine that this is a flat where I'm at right now. I see the kitchen, I see my bed, I see my closet. So it's a, it's a, it's one space, no divisions. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right.
All right, all right, welcome back. Uh, what is the answer for letter A, first part? There are teacher. Okay, give me a second. Yes, there are 25 students in the class. Very good. What is letter B? Janet, do you have letter B? Yes, there is a hospital in the city center. Good. Rose, do you have letter C? Uh, there is a big supermarket near my house. Good. Nice. Uh, Vilma, do you have letter D? Yes, there are two the, the teacher in the room. Okay, good. What about letter E, Luis? Uh, there are 12 songs on the CD. On the CD. Okay. CD. Okay, letter F. Uh, Osmin? There is a good film on TV tonight. There is a good film on TV tonight. Good. What about letter G? Anybody? There are his friends. There are his friends. Letter H? There is your mobile phone. Your mobile phone? There is your mobile phone. Good. Mobile. Letter I? There are a computer and TV in my room. Okay. Um, there is a computer and a TV in my room. Ah, okay. Wow. Now, there are. now, remember, when you use letter A, that indicates singular. That indicates one. Ah, okay, yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so there is a computer and a TV in my room. Okay. Okay, okay what yes, about letter? The answer is E, teacher. For the letter, uh, I. letter I is there is a computer. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Volunteer for letter J? There are seven books in my bag. Yes, there are seven books in my bag. What about letter K? There is no homework today. Good. There is no homework today. Any questions or comments? No? All right. So number one, second part, a big kitchen in my flat. There is a big kitchen in my flat. Okay, good. What is the meaning of flat? Uh, I remember you told me this uh, the apartment with no walls. Yeah. Good. An apartment with no walls. Good. What about number two? There are two bedrooms in my house. Good. There are two bedrooms in my house. What about let number three? Is there a bookcase in your room? Good. Number four. There is. There is a, there a chair, a desk. There is a chair, a dress, and a wardrobe. Uh huh. By the window. By the window. What is the meaning of wardrobe? Like to say closet, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh, like a closet. Like a closet. Very good. What about number five? Three floors in your house. Are there three floors in your house? Good. What is a synonym of floor? Mm. Story house. Story. <laughs> Story house. Yeah. Yeah. A synonym of floor. Mm, flat. No. A synonym of floor. A synonym. synonym. Two mm. story the, house, teacher. Huh? Two, two story house. Uh huh. Story. Story. House. story. 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 Yeah. Sorry, sorry. So you could sorry. say, um, are there three stories in your house? So story and floor, they are the same. Okay. What about number six? A living room and a dining room in my flat. Is there a living room and a dining room in my flat? Excellent. What about number seven? There are five chairs at the table. Good. Vilma, do you have number eight? 
uh, there is a on the right uh, are are they a booker on the what okay a bookshelf is that singular or plural Singular. Plural. a bookshelf uh, it's singular, singular. It's, one. Right. it's one so it's, is there or there. are there is there is yes. there excellent very good what about number nine osmin 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 or anybody are there many boxes under the table? Good. Number 10, anybody? There is a bed and a wardrobe between the chairs. Good. There is a bed and a wardrobe between the chairs. And what is the last one? Is there a new carpet on the floor? Excellent. Excellent. All right. Any questions or comments, people? Excuse me, I have to parar the microphone. Don't worry, Osman. I have a question. Yes, Luis. Uh, in the first part, when you're talking about and the not and the and the letter I, uh huh, and a computer and a TV in my room, you're talking about a computer and a TV, two things, right? But it and that sentence is is because you are mentioning one by one. Exactly, and they're making emphasis by using a computer, a TV. So there is a computer and a TV in my room. Exactly, okay. exactly. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, in the number nine, uh -huh. uh, the correct is uh, there, there are. Okay, uh, is, it, is it a question or a sentence, Osmin? Question. Okay. My, and my question for you is what is in Spanish uh, boxes. What is boxes in Spanish, people? Cajas. Cajas, exactly. Oh, okay, thank you. So are there many boxes under the table? Uh-huh. Okay, yes. Good. Good, good. Any questions, people? Any comments? No? Okay, so we're going to stop right here. If you have been programmed for tonight, I'm going to be connected from 10 to 11 p.m. And see you later. And I will see some of you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Yes, sir. I have a good question. Is, yes. there another, is there another guy that calls Luis Gerardo Martinez Rogel? Mm. It's, not, it's not me, right? Because I have an appointment to 1050 to 11 and it says Luis Gerardo Martinez Rogel. Okay, let, let me check the 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 the, the WhatsApp but, that they sent. But my last name is not Rogel. Okay, let me check. Luis Gerardo Martinez Rogel. What is your full name? Uh, 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 Luis Luis Gerardo Martinez Flores. Oh. And I don't know if there's another guy with no, my name is you, the last no, one. no, you are the only person. And now that you notice that observation, you should contact uh, Inglés Corporativo tomorrow and tell them about the mistake in your name. Okay. Yeah, just to make sure. And remember, like they told you before, if uh, if you want to change the schedule for the time you've been uh, arranged, you can perfectly do it. Okay. All right. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yeah. In my case, in my case, I, I, I am at ten, ten, <laughs> ten. Okay. Ten. Yeah. But All right. I don't know if Rosemary is going to take. No, it. no, she won't. She won't. Okay. May I? May I be first? Sure. Sure. Okay. Connect okay. right now. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Oh. Okay. Good, yes, night. Um, good night. God bless you. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Okay. Rose, Bye. you have a question? Uh, in the same yeah. link. Huh? The same link to connect. Yes, uh, they sent you the link. And, oh, okay. Um, so you can connect. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. I, All right, I good. It. I got it. Bye-bye.